Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more of The Last of Us Part 2. Best game ever. Ever. I absolutely love this game. Just loaded with strategic options and stealth and all kinds of... I just love it. I mean, uh, I don't know. I don't understand the criticism. Uh, if you're just, like, too much of a pussy to roleplay as a lesbian, that's your problem. You're missing out on a great game. <laughs> what if it was a gay man, Slack? How would you feel then? Would you roleplay as a gay man? Uh... Uh... What's the matter, Slack? Cat cut your tongue? Uh... I'm gonna have to get back to you on that question. Uh, okay, uh, we've got a walkthrough to do here. Let's get busy. <laughs> um... <laughs> I don't know, I think maybe I'd be a little uncomfortable role-playing as a gay man. Um, but I wouldn't say it was a shitty game, if that was the case. I wouldn't say, uh, this is a really shitty game. I would just come out and say, look, I'm a little uncomfortable role-playing as a gay man. Um, but anyways, maybe I'm just digging myself to a big homophobic hole here. I don't mean to be homophobic, but yeah. Okay, let's get on with it. Uh, in this area, we have lots to do. Lots of special stuff to pick up. We have... What do we got? We got the precision training manual, which is in the liquor store. We have the short gun holster, which is in the auto shop behind the tattoo shop there. But that's in a safe. And to get the safe code, we have to go into the pet boutique and then into the supermarket. So let's do this. Um, let's get the precision training manual first. And for this in there. In that area are two shamblers and there's also two rifle bullets and a shotgun shell so let's try to use the ammo that the game gives us so that we won't come out short since this is a survival horror and we have to watch all the resources very carefully okay so there's some revolver ammo there let's remember that and there's also some food in the fridge here Okay, let's drop down here. Let's see, what's my strategy for this? Um, how about a trip mine? Okay, a couple of shamblers down here, like I said. Let's see where they are. There they are. Flashlight on. Uh-oh, game wants me to shake my controller to get the flashlight going. Okay, let's lay a trip mine right here. Now remember, we can two-shot a Shambler if we get two headshots with the rifle because we have an upgraded rifle. So let's wait for this Shambler to come over here. Try to two-shot him. And once he's down, we'll switch over to the shotgun. That Shambler is going to walk into the trip mine. And then we'll finish him off with a shotgun. That's the way the plan is supposed to work. <laughs> That's supposed to go. really dark. It's hard to get a beat on this guy. Here we go. Got him. Switch over the shotgun. Got him. Great. Beautiful. That was textbook. Textbook. I think that calls for a Mr. Burns. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Burns. Okay, so let's replace the shotgun Don't shell we used. Reload that sucker, Ellie. Smell. I hate shamblers. Me too. All right, let's get Blue Girl to loot around because she can see everything better. It always amazes me how many throwables they give you. See, they get two throwables in here. I've tried using throwables on shamblers. It's just, you know, forget it. You can, however, um, I've been experimenting with this this morning. You can use stun bombs on shamblers and then just two-shot them with a melee weapon, an upgraded melee weapon. So you can actually melee shamblers. Okay, so I'll just load up a stun bomb, whip it at them, go up, two two wax with like an upgraded machete and then make sure you jump back after you kill him because he'll blow up 
and then ex you know spew out all the poison gas and whatnot. But yeah, you can you can go after shamblers with um, a melee weapon and a stun bomb. It's a lot of fun. Makes Ellie look like a real badass. And I think I have enough supplements now to get this upgrade that, yeah, here we go. Faster stealth kills. Just enough. Let's get that. It's going to be really useful for part 20, which is going to get really heavy. Okay, so that's it. Blue Girl's done here. The whole point of this is to get to crawl under here. Okay. This will allow you into another section of the liquor store that is inaccessible, inaccessible from the street. And there's some stuff over here. Full health kit and yeah. And let's climb up here. And here we go, to Precision Training Manual. Not that crazy about some of the upgrades here, but there's one that I really want, or I really um, put to good use. There we go, so we've got a new training manual. Aim stability increase. Improve aiming and stability and accuracy while moving. I always find this a complete waste of, of supplements. Same with this one. But this one, listen mode range. This is extremely useful. Detect enemies at a greater distance, basically 50% range. So yeah, all totaled, if that's all you want, like me, you got to spend a hundred supplements to get there. And then uh, hold breath, help you steady your aim. And a final upgrade that remains secret for now, we'll find out later. That's it, so that's how you get the precision training manual. Blue girl, we got everything in here. Clear. Clear. Okay. Next. Once you come out here, make sure you get into stealth mode. Back off into some grass. Because, hang on, here comes a... Some kind of truck outside. The hell? Okay, it's a really warm day here in Montreal, Quebec, so I've got the windows wide open. It's not quite warm enough for the AC. Okay, we got a runner here. There could be another one. There he is. Okay, he's on to us. There's another one. Yeah, what about? Okay, let's get another throwable down in the pool here. Grab it, Ellie. Grab it. Dodge. 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 Throw it. Slicey, slicey. Dicey, dicey. Down you go. And that should be it. They came out of the supermarket. They were like attracted by the noise we made. Okay. So. Still. Five uses in our machete, upgraded machete. And don't bother me with that game. I know what I'm doing. I'm not lost. Okay. Get to those stairs. Yeah, we know. We got to get to the stairs. We're busy doing this area. Next, let's get the safe code so that we can get the short gun holster. Safe codes in here. In here is initially one shambler and three runners, but two runners came out. So now there's just one Shambler, one Runner left. Let's see if we can sneak up on one Runner. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold here. There's a Runner over there. Okay, so what you do is to just if you go over here, just park yourself right here. And that Runner is eventually going to come around here, stumble along here, and we can sneak attack him when he comes to this point here. Meanwhile, the Shambler is going to be kind of like milling around over there. Should be okay. 
Come to Papa. Atta boy. Atta boy. Bring it on. Bring it on. And gotcha. And we got faster stealth kills. Very good. Give me that. And what can we make? Let me just, uh, because I always like to make sure all my stuff is full so they can take on parts. Okay, that shambler's over there. What are you doing? I like get get stealthy. Okay. How should we take this guy down? Um, how about a stun bomb melee attack, like I was just talking about? Just let, wait till he gets a little closer. Okay, right about now. Stun bomb. Back off because he's gonna blow up. Ba boom. There we go. Yep, upgraded melee weapon can take down a shambler. You notice when she, um, after the first strike with the machete, she puts her machete away. Don't let that fool you. Slam on that attack button so that she does the second hit. I used to like, you know, make me think, okay, we killed him, and then she, <laughs> the shampoo just stands there and farts and you die and, you know. Okay, so, that's that. Let me just, uh, whoop. We're gonna loot everywhere after. I find this makes more sense. Put that away, Ellie. And the code for the safe is right here. Yo, when Dale comes by, he's going to ask for the safe combo. But just walk over to the garage and put it in yourself. Otherwise, he's going to bother you eight more times. The combo is 30, 82, 65. All right, so now we got a combo for the safe. And like I said, we'll loot later. This area has a surplus of revolver ammo. So, let's load up the revolver. And a cool way To take down a horde, yeah, you got to jump over this fence here. Sorry, I'm not really. Uh, it's not very walkery. Okay. Bike shop. That's where we just came out of. There's the tattoo shop. Go down the alley between the bike shop and the tattoo shop. Climb the fence. And you're looking for auto repairs right there. Except there's a dumpster in the way. To simply move the dumpster out of the way. Now, as soon as you open this door, a horde of infected are going to come streaming out. I find the best way to deal with them is a stun bomb and then immediately throw a Molotov right afterwards. And then get some distance and gun down the rest. Okay, so that's the plan. Let's do it. Open the door. Dodge back twice. Stun bomb. Molotov. Back off, back off. Okay, this is going sideways. Let's get out of here, get some distance. Okay, Mr. Fumblefingers just totally screwed that up. Get off me. Get off me. Oh, dude. Okay, there is a throwable at the bus stop at the bus station. Let's see if I can get it. Grab the throwable, Ellie. Grab it. God, oh, jeez. 
That's okay. Oh, I don't need it. Okay. And... Now we got him. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to avoid wasting a lot of ammo. I really wanted to stun him and just machete him. Because I know I got a full uh, med kit left over in the, uh, the Gold Star Liquor place. So it's better to use that than to waste ammo. Okay, so. Reload. Still gonna have a surplus of revolver ammo. All right. The best laid plans of mice and men are often often screwed up by Mr. Fumblefingers, or Mr. Fumblethumbs in this case. Mr. Fumblefingers is when I'm PC gaming. Okay, so we're still alive. Looks like they've been locked in here for years. The code is 30. Whoop, yeah, that's right. 82. Sixty-five. What have you got for me? We have got a short gun holster. <sighs> this is Good. this is huge. This is huge. That means we can now swap our handgun and a revolver without having to go into our backpack. This is huge. Okay, so now it's just like the long gun holster. And let's grab everything else. Lots of goodies here. Explosive, revolver, ammo, nine parts. And we have to leave behind some handgun ammo and some rifle ammo. Okay, I gotta remember that handgun ammo, rifle ammo. Oh, there we go. Hello. Okay, blue girl, did we leave anything behind? No, we do not. Except for And we need another three quarters of a canister. So we're running short on canisters. All right, now let's go looting. Oh, there was a break right there. I never knew that. All right, uh, did we loot the tattoo parlor? I don't think so. An actual tattoo shop. This note is pretty funny. Oh, it's not this one, it's another one. Okay, did you get that? And we got some explosives here. It's not what we really need. We need some. This should be handgun ammo, yeah. Okay. Did I leave anything behind in the bike shop? 
Oh, okay. Can you go back? Oh, you can't go back to the workshop or the workbench. What a ripoff. Oh, no, wait, I'm wrong. Here you go. Here we go. I don't think I have enough parts, though. Yep, just 21. Okay. Can you climb up here? Okay, we can. That's the point of no return. Okay. Okay, let's go grab that uh, the health kit I left behind. And grab a couple Snickers bars here. One there. One there. A little spit shine. <sighs> Yeah, two throwables. I'm full up on revolver ammo. Okay. Yeah, two throwables in an area which has two shamblers. For those, you know, real diehard hardcore shambler killers. <laughs> We're gonna take on a shambler with a brick and a and a shiv. Oh, okay. I can't take it. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, okie doke. Okie dokie. Um, looks like we're leaving that behind too. My bad. What's this? We can take that. Okay, so we didn't come here for nothing. Oh. All right, the way to continue is through the pet boutique. Oh yeah, I forgot to leave the back here. This door is locked. But you can't just jump through the window on the side here. Smashy, smashy. Come on, give me canister or give me death. There we go. Uli, it was Boris. I saw him shoot that WLF p patrol against their own van. Jesus, I get it. They killed his daughter, but just signed our death warrant. We have a chance to get out of this. We turn him in, okay? <laughs> I know he's your friend, but if those wolves shot that girl over some graffiti, think what they'll do to us if they think we're harboring the killer of three of their own. Let's meet at the usual place after the curfew. The plot thickens, people. Here we go, full up again. Just need to collect some more parts. And there's some revolver ammo here. Okay, so we're leaving some revolver ammo behind. And there's a couple of um, runners to take care of up ahead. So let's use revolver ammo on them. Okay, blue girl, are we clear? Clear. Okay, let's go. This way you continue. That's how you get past this big pit here, otherwise you wouldn't be able to climb up there. Alright. Before you go up the stairs, make sure you grab yourself some arrows. Just in case. Just in case. Whoa. Oh, what was that? What was that? 
Yeah. <laughs> Okay, a couple of runners in here. Get the revolver ready to go just in case we blow our cover. What the hell? Let's just try to gun him down. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, get a nice death lead on these guys. Uh oh. Hey, what? Uh oh. It's on. That's one. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I don't want to use up. Oh, actually. I was trying to turn around and whip um, my throwable at him, but I guess it doesn't really make a difference. Okay. Good. We're not past the point of no return yet. We just simply go this way. Now let's go get that health kit. <laughs> Mine. All right. No health kit left behind. Revolver ammo in the supermarket, if I recall. Where is there another one? In the safe? handgun. Okay, I forget where it is. Um, bear with me, please. I should take notes. Hold up. Wait, wait. Bingo. Oh, wait. That's just stuff I forgot to get. Okay. Well, uh, let's push on.
Okay, did you guys drop anything? Doesn't look like it. Whoops. The way to continue is, uh, wait a minute. There's kind of like a space in like a, the fence here. Okay, that's the point of no return. You can't go back. Pick that up, Billy. Let's have a little read. Get all that? So now we found out what happened in the garage and why it was full of a horde of infected. Aha! Should be a space to squeeze through here. What do we got here? Okay, we get 25% off. Here we go. Okay, all is right with the world. <laughs> we even found a canister. Okay, let's squeeze through here. And we get attacked. Just melee him. Uh-oh. This is not going well. Here we go. That's the first time I've taken him on with just the, the dagger. Usually I have the, a little bit of the machete left. Boy, he's a lot tougher than I thought. Okay, grab that bow. And um, I believe that's Boris, if um, I'm following the story correctly. Okay, spare rifle ammo here. Jeez, I could have shot him. time. All right, we have a bow. A little tricky. Hold down the aim button and then hold down the attack button to charge up a shot and then release the attack button to um, shoot. And if you want to change your mind, just simply release the aim button while continuing to hold the attack button. And that's how you can like, you know, um, what's the word? Um, cancel your shot. And time for a little target practice. Basically, your aim is pretty 
Like it's all over the place if you're standing up. See that? If you're crouching. Oh, this is a tutorial. I can't move until I take a shot. Okay. Have it your way, game. All right. Okay, now we can move. And like the game says, if you get a headshot, sometimes you retrieve your arrows. And there's two free arrows over here. And we can now craft arrows. But we're full up. Then your shot is really steady. See that? That's the best. It's kind of tricky getting a prone shot though. Alright, so we have a new weapon. Pretty much instantly kill anything. Like, um, within reason. <laughs> and this next area, this is a bitch. This is a hey, real bitch. Hey, we got another trespasser. A girl. Did you see her? No. The fucking guy is nearby. Shit. We're looking for two. The fuck's all that smoke? He blew up one of our trucks. How'd you let that happen? Just find them. I want those fucking trespassers. Okay, it's on. And this is what we're going to do next video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. And I'll see you next time for some more Last of Us Part 2.